Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 30th April, the last day of April, we'll talk about Samson's strength and uh, weaknesses. The angel of the Lord appeared to her, that is Mona, uh, Mano's wife, and said, you're barren and childless, but you're going to become uh, a mother and give birth to your son. You'll become pregnant and have a son whose head is never to be touched by a razor because the boy is to be a Nazarite, dedicated to God from the womb. He will take the lead in delivering Israel from the hands of the Philistines. This we see in Judges 13, 3 to 5. Samson was a special person, like very few others, whose birth was announced by the angel of the Lord. Samuel, John the Baptist and Jesus Christ were the others whose birth was announced. Being a Nazareth means that a person who took a vow to be set apart for God's service. A Nazareth vow was sometimes temporary, but in Samson's life, uh, it was for life. Samson's birth to a previously barren mother was by divine power. And then he had 20 years of divine preparation in a godly home marked by Nazareth devotion. Preserved from wine and defilement, his hair untouched by a razor, God would use him in divine purpose. When the moment was right, God would use this instrument for his glory. In God's time, the Spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan between Zorah and Eshtal. See, we just noticed divine power, divine preparation, Nazarite devotion, and then uh, uh, divine purpose. Divine presence now, it's always with him. Uh, that was the secret of uh, realizing all his potential for God. In the New Testament times, every believer's new birth is an act of divine power when we compare that to our uh, new birth. New, uh, new Testament is seen in obedience to the law, word and devotion to the Lord giving each believer a divine potential for God. In realizing this potential, the power of the Spirit of God is available. Sunday school uh, pictures uh, of Sa Samson depict Herculean strength. We see him tear a lion apart, slay a thousand Philistines with the, with the jawbone of an ass, walk up with the gates of Gaza upon his soldiers, and we marvel at his bulging muscles. The secret of his power was not to be in the well-developed biceps, but in his devotion to the Lord seen in the Nazarite vow. The weakness which turned Samson's life into a tragedy rather than a triumph lay in his casual treatment of Nazarite ship and yielding to the flesh rather than the spirit. One devoted to the Lord had a source of joy about the earth deep, since the Nazareth was not dependent upon any stimulant of earth, is completely dependent on God. Yesterday we saw how he broke all the vows of the Nazareth ship. Self will control him. In the New Testament terms, he can be described as not knowing the truth of cro uh, cross. Galatians 5.24 says, They that are Christ have crucified the flesh. flesh. Those that, that belong to Christ, they they feel as they, as if they have crucified the flesh. His love for the Philistine girl made him fleshly. Flesh, fleshly. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching about Samson, whom you gave such a lot of strength. But because of his weakness, he was an utter failure. Please help us to realize what we are doing in our lives. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.